Let me show you how easy it is to assemble an ET200 SP IO drop. First we install the interface module. Then we have the first base. The first base is always the infeed to power the group. We have a couple of other bases that we will be adding. Let's click them all together. On this drop we also have some motor starters. The first base is the infeed for the motor starters. There are three additional bases that we will add next. I'm going to push those together just like I did on the first section. And finally, we have a server module, which is always required at the end of the drop. So let's install our discrete I.O. modules. We have a 16-point digital input and a 16-point digital output. You have the feed here, and you have the feed through bases there. Same thing here, feed through here and then feed through through the rest of them. Your T leads all around the top here, the fed to individual motors, and this distributes the power in the group. When installing motor starters in ET200SP, you need to put in one empty base for isolation. I'll put a cover in to cover that. I'm gonna set the motor starters in the bases. Once all the motor starters are seated in the bases, I'll turn the knob in the front of the motor starter to connect them to the bases. I've installed an optional digital input module on each of the starters. This could be used for bringing push buttons or selector switches from the panel directly into the starter and therefore directly into the CPU as I.O. This could save you the cost of an I.O. module Well, as you can see, things have come together pretty quickly. The overall length of the assembly is only around 10 inches. That includes the interface, the I.O. modules, and all the motor starters. All in this compact, easy to install AT200 SP drop. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to talk to you soon.